how could this be the way most passengers pay for their travel in future? For the first time, a special type of bank card can be used in much the same way as an Oyster. The wave and pay system has come into operation on the capital's bus network. We've been given access to the work being done to introduce the new technology. This special report from our transport correspondent, Tom Edwards. Is this the beginning of the end of the cash fare in the capital? From today for the first time ever, you can use a contactless bank card to pay for your fare on buses in London. It'll cost the same as using an Oyster card. Would you use your bank card to pay for a bus fare? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't see why not. It seems to be a logical idea. I think so, yes. Then if looking for change, yeah, if it was the same price, no problem. It made life a lot easier either having to mess about with putting money in your Oyster or putting money in the ticket machine, which is a bit of a pain. I don't trust them, I won't. Yeah. You'd be worried about the security? That's right, yeah. This test has been going on for a long while and it was critical in us proving that this technology works. This is called the windmill and for a year it's been driving round all of the capital's bus routes. The system uses the 3G mobile network to check bank balances. The windmill has been checking the signal. Transport for London insists it is secure. The banking industry spends a lot of effort in making sure that banking transactions are safe and secure and the same protections will apply here and in any case if anything goes wrong with your bank card you have the protections from both from your bank and now also from PFL that you will get a full refund. With a nimbleness and confidence that will do justice to a much older hand she smiles and punches, punches and smiles. Over the years tickets and cash have been phased off London's transport. Oyster's been a big driver of that, offering lower fares than cash. This new system was meant to be introduced before the Olympics, but the timetable slipped. There are a couple of things you need to know if you want to use your wave and pay contactless bank card to pay for your bus fare. Firstly, it won't work if it's right next to your Oyster card. Also, it won't be incorporated into the daily fare cap until next year. Many passengers think they're already paying too much for transport, but the use of bank cards offers further savings for TfL, and there are no plans yet to get rid of Oyster. Cash is actually very expensive because, of course, there's, a, there's the time it takes on the bus. All that coin has to be brought together and collected, transported securely and indeed counted. So coin is very expensive for any retailer to handle. The system will be rolled out on the tube next year. Other cities across the world are watching closely. Tom Edwards, BBC London News. The number of people.